Let's go over how to correct an error on a student's record flagged in the error resolution on the web report. Once you go to the error resolution on the web report and click on an error, there are four ways to resolve an error on a student's record. Mass correction allows you to update all records in the error with the same information. Group edits allow you to update selected records with the same information. Updating individual records on the summary screen and submitting them as a group for validation. And updating individual student records. The benefit of expanding and updating student records individually for errors is that the system checks for additional errors and warnings based off the updates made. As a result, this student's record will not reappear in the error list for an error once the current error has been resolved. To update a student's record, expand the record for the student. All fields for the student record are viewable regardless of the errors or warnings. Some fields like the permanent address and telephone sections are not editable. For convenience, only sections relevant to the error are expanded. The fields that need to be reviewed are highlighted with a red box around them. Review the record and make the updates as needed. In this example, the record needs an anticipated graduation date. If you want to view data previously submitted to the clearinghouse, click on View Previously Reported Student Data at the top or bottom of the expanded student record. All fields are displayed for the previously reported data and incoming record. When you are ready to submit, click on Submit for Validation. The system performs checks to see if there are any additional errors. If there are, an error alert pop-up displays with the list of additional errors. If you expand another student's record or collapse this student's record, the pop-up will close automatically. To get the error pop-up back, you will need to go back to the student's record you are working and click Submit for Validation. You can keep the pop-up open while you work the additional errors. Fields that require review are highlighted in red. Make the necessary updates on the student's record. When you're ready to resubmit, close the pop-up and click Submit for Validation. The Submit for Validation button won't be enabled until you close the pop-up. The system will check that all errors are resolved and there are no additional errors. The system will then check for warnings and display any in a warning alert pop-up window. Warnings are optional. If you don't want to make edits based on a warning, you can click on OK and Submit. If you want to make edits, make note of the warning. Click Cancel, review the fields highlighted in orange, and make your edits, and then resubmit. When no additional errors or warnings are found, the student's record is removed from this error summary screen. There are a few additional actions you can do while updating a student's record within an error code before submitting the record for validation. First, if you need to add a new program for the student, you can click Add Program and fill out the information. Up to six open programs are allowed on a record. Just like we covered earlier, errors and warnings checks will be performed on this program. Second, if a new program came in on the file, or you added it while working the error, you can delete the program. Click Delete Program N to delete the program. For linked programs, the program will need to be unlinked before you can delete the program. All programs in the submission are new programs. You can also change the program indicator to no and select yes on the pop-up to confirm that you want to delete all incoming programs. Lastly, you can link an existing program to a new program. Make sure the CIP codes are correct on the two programs. If you make a change after you link the programs, you will need to relink the programs. On the existing program, change the enrollment status for the program to M moved. Then you will be able to select the new program available for linkage from the move drop-down menu. If the new program matches exactly with an existing program, it won't be available for linkage. This concludes how to correct an error on a student's record flagged in the error resolution on the web report. If you have any questions, reach out to us at schoolops at studentclearinghouse.org.